In the many faces of Naoki Urusawa Part 1, we went over some of his most popular manga, Yawara, Master Keaton, and Monster. Join us for Part 2 as we'll talk about 20th Century Boys, Pluto, and Billy Bat. Urasawa Naoki. Urasawa Naoki. 20th Century Boys was originally serialized from 1999 to 2006. The 249 chapters were later published into 22 volumes. The story spans several decades from the 1960s to the 21st century and involves a huge cast of characters. In 2007, the sequel, 21st Century Boys, hit shelves and included the final 16 chapters. Kenji Endo had dreams of becoming a rock star, but he was stuck working in the family convenience store after his father died. When his older sister mysteriously disappeared, Kenji began taking care of her baby girl. One day he learns that his childhood friend Donkey committed suicide. Soon after the funeral, Kenji receives a letter from the now deceased Donkey with a drawing and the question, do you remember the symbol? Along with a request to get together soon. It was a symbol from a game they used to play when they were kids. The letter convinces Kenji that Donkey was murdered. In his search to uncover the truth, Kenji learns of a mysterious cult leader known only as Friend who hijacked their symbol. When Kenji and his friends were kids, they played a game in which they imagined the world being destroyed by a group of evil villains. Now he must gather his friends again in order to prevent Friend from turning their childhood fantasies into an apocalyptic reality. Pluto is a reimagining of Osamu Tezuka's classic Astro Boy that ran from 2003 to 2009. Urusawa continues Tezuka's story from Astro Boy Book 3, The Greatest Robot on Earth. Tagashi Nagasaki is the co-author and Osamu's son, Makoto Tezuka, supervised the story. Pluto is set in a world where humans and sentient robots coexist. We follow Gesicht, a German robot detective so advanced that he's nearly indistinguishable from a human. He leads an investigation into a series of murders. The seven most advanced robots are being killed off one by one as human victims pile up. All signs point to a robot assassin, but in a world where robots are incapable of killing humans, that would defy the laws of robotics. Gesicht is under extreme pressure to find the murderer since he himself is one of the targets. His main challenge is to discover the cryptic link between the robot and human victims. He's short on time since all seven robots have the potential to be weapons of mass destruction. And in an additional twist, the human victims are working towards getting robots equal rights.
Billy Bat is a manga thriller which ran from 2008 to 2016 with art from Takashi Nagasaki. The main character is Kevin Yamagata, born in the 1920s to Japanese immigrants in California. During World War II, Kevin worked with Allied forces in Japan as an interpreter. After the war, he becomes a comic book writer, and by 1949, his series Billy Bat, about a private detective in a world populated by animals, is a huge success. His world is turned upside down when the police use his apartment for a stakeout and one of them notes that his work reminds him of a manga. Kevin starts to think that he may have subconsciously plagiarized someone's work from Japan and promptly goes back to investigate. But in post-war Japan, it isn't easy to conduct an investigation, especially with U.S. soldiers everywhere and many locals distrustful of outsiders. He manages to find the source of the Billy Bat image and learns that it's the calling card of an ancient conspiracy and they don't like anyone snooping around. As he learns more, the significance of the image throughout history is revealed. Naoki Urusawa has mad skills as a writer and artist. The complexity of his characters and the way his plots twist and turn are a pleasure to read. If you haven't yet, Miguel and I cannot recommend him more. So get out there and read his books, or you could even watch the anime. Urasawa Naoki. <laughs>